Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today we are going to be working in our kitchen again. If you've seen our previous video, this is the microwave that we replaced the, and we also replaced the trim on. And below it is our oven. And many of you probably have a similar problem where over time you can see that there has been some condensation that has dripped down in between the two panes of glass and the oven door. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to take the door off and also give you two different ways to clean that. So let me show you the first way you can actually take a ruler or a yardstick if you have it and most of you probably have these vents located at the top of your oven. You of course can go inside the vent wrap it with a paper towel and as you can see it gets in between where we need to go here and you can just work back and forth but that of course is going to take quite a lot of time. So what we're going to do for our case is we're actually going to take the door off and we're going to remove this inside shell by removing the screws that you see all around here and there's several all around the perimeter and then we're going to separate the parts clean the glass reassemble it and then hang the door back on so in order to do that we first have to take the door off so the door is connected by two hinges one here and one here and so what we have to do is we have to take off the hinge lock and that's super simple to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to tip it up. You can see that that has released that latch. We're going to go do the exact same thing on this side and that has moved that one back as well. So now what we need to do is we need to set the camera down and we're going to grab the side of the oven. We're going to close it to where it's almost closed and we're going to lift it off and then we're going to set it down over onto the island where we have already set up a towel to prevent scratches. Okay, remember I've got the latches open so all I need to do is tip this forward to where it's getting close to being closed and then I'm going to lift it straight out and then it should break free. Okay, now that we have our oven door out, we're going to remove the screws that are located all around the perimeter. fingers under here and I'm holding the glass as I disassemble. Okay. I just turned it over. Now you can see what we need to clean. See right here? So when I run my finger you can see the grease. We're just going to clean that off. We're also going to see what we can do take this off there's another piece of glass down below and we need to get to that one also There we go. Okay, so we've got it separated. Inside panel, outside panel, and this side, of course, is what's inside the oven. 
and you can see just as I run my hand on there, all we need to do is wipe that off and we'll be in good shape. See if I can get the majority of that grease off before I go to my glass cleaner. Okay, we're looking good. We're going to do the same here. Also going to need to lift that one out. Get both sides. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four more bolts to take off and then we can get this out and then we'll get to that other layer. We should be about done. And I was wrong. I thought this had two panels of glass. It appears there's three. On to the final. And then we'll reassemble it, hang the door, and we're done. Okay, so now it's time to remount the door. What we need to do is there is a little lip. If you look closely here, this notch located right here needs to sit on the rim that is on the side of the oven. That's on either side. Most folks say this is the most difficult part and I'm sure that it will be because it has to sit in there just right. Once we set it in, we're gonna open it back up and we're gonna take the latch and then push it back down and then that should finish up the project. There you have it everybody. Listen, this was actually much easier to rehang the door than it was to take off. Take a look at the difference. You can see that it is substantially cleaner inside and out. And that was what we were trying to accomplish. Thanks for watching.